Hey everyone, my name is Kylie and I'm the team lead for the West Coast. Hi, I'm Brittany and I'm a project manager for the West Coast of the US. And today we're gonna to be doing a site tour of some of our projects that are part of our Project Orca initiative. So we're currently in Southern Oregon at our first stop and we're really excited to be seeing several of these projects. Let's go explore, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, so they've been planting at this site for the last 25 years. Over the last three years, they've been partnering with One Tree Planted, and they are restoring the riparian habitat and planting multiple species that benefit soil stabilization and water quality, and in turn benefit the salmonid species. So my name is Matt Swanson. I do a lot of work for a watershed partnership in this county, Curry County. I manage projects, develop projects, and then we do a lot of the implementation, the tree planting and veg management. Most of the streams are listed for temperature under the Clean Water Act because they get too warm in the summer and they exceed the threshold for like salmon and trout habitat. And so the idea being plant some conifers, they make great shade. All right, so as you guys can see, we're walking around this site and you might have noticed that there's some stakes here and cages around the trees. But these are really important. They protect the little baby trees from elk and deer and other animals that might graze or browse against them and cause damage. Um, it's really critical that these stay on in the first couple of years so that they're able to grow and self-sustain themselves. So we are at the Upper Elk River watershed. So we're gonna be looking for the Port Orford cedars that were recently planted here. They're about a year old. And as you can see, um, there's plenty of species around, but that is one species that is dying off. So we're gonna look for those resistant Port Orford cedars. So here we have a approximately one year old seedling. It is one of the Port Orford cedars. Um, so this was planted in December, 2022. And it's about a foot and a half tall. I think it's gonna do really well here. The major types of planting we do are kind of full scale like riparian project revegetation like this where we're either there'll be a project site or we'll come in and build a bunch of invasive weeds and then end up planting trees and shrubs to kind of shade those things out. We got a bunch of disease resistant porter with cedar growing out. So we put that up in the elk watershed most of so far. There was a Phytophthora disease, a root rot disease that was killing a bunch of them. All right, so here we have our DGI mini drone and we use these to monitor our planting sites around the world. Uh, so this one, it's super small, compact, and we're able to launch them at each of our sites. What we're doing when they're in the air is we're taking a variety of both photos and videos. For the pictures, we stitch them together and we can create orthomosaic maps where we can actually see, you know, like this site from a map where the trees are planted and pinpoint those for the future so we can come back and see how they've done. Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining us. We've had quite the adventure these last few days. We've experienced snow, rain, hail, and sunshine. And thanks to our planting partners who took us out to their various planting sites. And a special thanks to Bonneville Environmental Foundation who plays a critical key role in connecting us to these watershed groups across the Pacific Northwest. So if you like this video, you want to see more, you know, like, comment, subscribe, for more.